Prince Harry and Meghan Markle don't want to add stresses for Prince William and Kate Middleton. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are treading lightly with Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton amid her cancer battle. The Duke and Duchess, of Sussex, want to be super respectful and don't want to add stress to the situation, a source exclusively reveals in Us Weekly's latest cover story. If Will and Kate want their space, Meghan and Harry will give it to them. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Harry, 39, and William, 41, have been at odds since 2019 after the spare author married Meghan, 42. Following Harry's royal wedding, the brothers officially separated their households. Harry and Meghan later stepped down from their public duties and relocated to California in 2020. They have since claimed that the family falling out stemmed from William's team planting unkind news articles about Meghan. The Prince of Wales never addressed the accusations. Earlier this year, William and Kate, 42, faced a trying time as she was diagnosed with an undisclosed form of cancer. Kate publicly confirmed her diagnosis in March, with Harry and Meghan sharing their wishes for health and healing in a statement. A second source notes that Kate's cancer diagnosis put things into perspective for the princess and her husband regarding the family feud. They want a relationship with Meghan and Harry and they don't want the acrimony to carry over to the next generation, the insider explains. William and Kate share three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis, 6, while Harry and Meghan are parents to Archie, 4, and Lilibet, 2. According to the second source, William and Kate hope their kids can eventually have a relationship with their cousins. They want to mend fences with them for the kids' sake, the source adds. The first insider, meanwhile, notes that Harry and Meghan obviously want Archie and Lily to be able to bond with their cousins. Despite both camps being open to a potential reunion for the sake of the next generation, neither William nor Harry has made the first move thus far. Another insider tells us that the siblings, who are the two sons of King Charles III and his late ex-wife, Princess Diana, haven't had a real conversation in several months. The brothers haven't spoken, but, there is potential for that. Harry, would be more than happy, the third source adds, revealing that Harry invited his relatives to the upcoming Invictus Games in London. Harry is set to travel across the pond later this month to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, which he co-founded to honor wounded military veterans. It is not known whether he will see his brother, Kate and their kids during the trip. It is also likely that Harry could visit with Charles, 75, who is also battling a form of cancer, during the London trip. Harry had similarly been at odds with his father after his royal stepdown, but a fourth source tells us that they are currently in communication. After Charles' diagnosis, Harry even jetted off to London to visit him at Buckingham Palace. I love my family, Harry previously said on Good Morning America in February. The fact that I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. It is believed that the Duke of Sussex will be in the UK in May to attend the St. Paul's Cathedral liturgy commemorating the Invictus Games 10th anniversary. It is also believed that the 39-year-old Prince Harry would speak at the May 8th special service. However, it is yet unclear if the Duke will see any members of his family while in London. The mother of two is unlikely to go with Harry, but an analyst told the Mirror that Harry will want Meghan to go with him for moral support on his travels. Since the Sussexes chose to move to Montecito, California, where they currently reside with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, and first to Canada, relations between the family, and the rest of the royal family have worsened. Meghan never felt at home in the UK, according to author Omi Scobie, who wrote the contentious books Finding Freedom in 2020 and Endgame in 2023. 
The American actor turned royal never wants to set foot again in England, according to Scobie.